Welcome to our review on mitosis. So what we actually find then is within the body then we need certain types of cell division to take place. Now with our body cells what we'll find is that they need to divide in order to replace any cells that become worn out, to repair any damaged tissues if you cut yourself for example, and also to allow organisms to grow by producing more cells. Any body cell that is dividing will be dividing by this process called mitosis. Now make sure you learn how to spell that one as well because they're quite picky on your exam about whether it's right or wrong. Now what we then find is as a result of mitosis then every cell that undergoes that process produces two genetically identical daughter cells and these cells are what's called diploid. Now that means that they have two of each chromosome okay so they're just like all of your other normal body cells when they've replicated by mitosis the products are genetically identical to the parent cell first thing we need to remember then is before a cell can actually divide we've got to copy that genetic material and that process is called dna replication the way that dna replication actually takes place then is quite similar to what we've looked at previously with making proteins. So the first thing that's going to happen is that that double-stranded DNA molecule is going to unzip and expose the bases on each strand. Then we're going to have spared DNA bases come in and they're going to line up in their complementary base pairs. That's A with T and C with G, remember. As soon as that's happened all the way along, those two strands of DNA that we started with, then what we've actually got are two exact copies of our parent strand. So that gives us our replicated DNA. The next thing that happens then is that those chromosomes are going to line up along what's called the equator or the middle of the cell. Now each pair of chromosomes that we've got, because remember we've got identical copies, is then going to split into those two copies okay so we're going to have one copy going to one end of the cell the other copy going to the other end of the cell once that's taken place we get a new nuclei forming around each of those sets of chromosomes and then the rest of the cell divides and what we end up with then are two identical copies of the original cell so the diagram at the bottom there just shows you what's happening at each stage starting off with our original cell the DNA is replicated by the DNA unzipping, the bases coming in, having complementary base pairing. Then the chromosomes line up along the equator of the cell. The copies are pulled to opposite ends or poles of the cell. Then the new nucleus forms and the rest of the cell divides to make two identical copies. Now you should have heard about this process of asexual reproduction further down the school. Now, asexual reproduction itself uses mitosis to make new individuals. So we only need one parent for asexual reproduction to take place. And the key thing to remember here is if we've only got one parent, then all of the offspring will have exactly the same alleles as the parent did. And a couple of examples down there of organisms that will do this are strawberry plants, spider plants, starfish, all of those use asexual reproduction. Now, one type of organism that we need to consider then are multicellular organisms. So being multicellular actually has a few important points about it. First of all, any multicellular organism can be much larger than single celled ones. They've also got different types of cell that carry out different jobs, and therefore they can be more complex as an organism than the single celled ones. One downside though is that for these multicellular organisms to actually work then they're going to need these specialised organ systems. So what we find is any of these large multicellular organisms will have specialised organ systems to carry out certain functions within them. So we've got things like the nervous and endocrine system which is all to do with communication for us. The circulatory system is going to supply our cells with the nutrients. Our respiratory and digestive systems will be controlling the exchanges with the environment. Each one of them has their own part to play to actually allow that multicellular organism to get to the size it has. Last thing we need to consider then is mitosis occurring in mature organisms. So if we think about animals first of all, when an animal is mature it's no longer growing. 
So we're just going to use mitosis there to repair any damaged tissues. However, if we think about plants, then a mature plant is still going to continue to grow. So we're going to be using mitosis not only to repair damaged tissues, but also to allow it to grow in two specific areas of the plant. Firstly is the root tips and secondly the shoot tips.